The world of AI video is moving incredibly fast, so I wanted to see how Runway Gen 2 has evolved over the past two months. So let's see how footage from May and June 2023 stacks up to footage after the Runway Gen 2 launch in July. One thing I need to say is that I've used the same exact prompt and the same exact seed for all of these, so typically it should generate the same exact clip. This is one of the first clips I ever generated in Gen 2. And this was one where I was, very, I was intentionally prompting for something strange. I said, a person with three legs riding a bike. So this is what you get now. There's a little bit of a shift that you see in the hips. I feel like the, the left leg becomes the right leg um, part, part of the way through. You know, if this is what I was looking for, there's actually, there's people next to bikes, but no one's riding a bike. So. Even though it's not really strange and weird, it's closer to what I'm asking for, which is, I think, an improvement. Another one people comment on in my videos a lot is this shot. So there's a cooking show host tasting delicious food. You know, there's some weird stuff happening where suddenly she just has another arm come out of her at the very end. You know, the spoon is part of her jaw. Um, and obviously the thing that everyone comments on is just this random head in a vase. <laughs> and I don't know why that's there. Um, there's nothing in the prompt that would suggest we should have a head in the vase. I love it, but I understand this would be a deal breaker, though, if I was just looking for footage of a cooking show host tasting delicious food. Um, so here's the current version. There's something different about the quality of the face that I can't express. It seems like um, it's almost animated. It's sharper in a good way, but it also there's almost like this weird um, rainbow uh, shininess on the clothing. One thing that's interesting to me is that you still have jars here off to the side. There's two jars to the left. Now there's two jars to the right. There's leaves going out of them, but there's no, there's maybe like something is there. Like you can kind of see, is that like a reflection that could have been a head? So what is it doing? Like, why does it think that there should be something in this jar like that? Like it looks like a head and this could almost, if you stared at it long enough, it's kind of like how people see the face in the moon. I think that the food too looks more like prepared food. She looks like she's just eating raw ingredients. She looks like she's eating, um, you know, kale and tomatoes and an onion maybe. Whereas his looks like there's been some food that's put together. So um, if this is what I was looking for, like I wanted a cooking show host tasting delicious food. It's kind of like this is definitely closer to what I was asking for. I, I love this one for just how strange and surreal it is. Um, but it's getting closer to what I actually prompted for. So this is definitely something straight out of a dream. I don't understand totally what's happening here. I don't know what the scorpion pose is, but I imagine it doesn't look like this. In the new version, it's still kind of strange. Like this is, this is out of all the new footage, this was the strangest thing that, that I generated. And I think part of the reason is that there's this word scorpion in here and yoga, and it just doesn't quite know what to do. Uh, but there's not as much movement. You'll see this throughout. I feel like they've minimized the amount of movement to give you more clarity in the picture and to get it closer to what you're prompting for. I don't know if that's true, but that's just one kind of thing that I'm noticing. So here's another one that I really like. It's just kind of like he's he's doing a layup and he's just kind of floating around and he, his back suddenly turns into his front. This would be an impossible shot to defend against. So, and then this is, there's not any of the motion. It looks like he's in New York City. Like this, this looks like New York City. This looks closer to New York City to me, even though there's all of this crazy stuff happening with his arms and floating. Um, this looks like a New York City pickup basketball player. Um, if, if you just took a still of that, that to me looks much more like this could be an actual real thing, you know? Um, whereas this looks like you've taken an NBA player and plopped him in the middle of somewhere in New York City. And I don't know why they made the player an NBA player, but I don't want this jersey. I want this t-shirt. Um, and so I would have to prompt differently now, I think, knowing like, okay, I have to be very specific about the scene and the setting and where I want this player, what I want them wearing. So I would probably prompt this differently. People love this cat one <laughs> because there's this, like, what is this? Like people are like, is this a furry? Like what, what is going on? You, it's, part cat, part human. You see a human hand here. This is like a very long cat leg. This gets a lot of comments um, in the cat video that I've gotten. 
Um, and, and the prompt is just a funny cat chases another cat around a living room. I love what it generated, but this isn't what I asked for. This is kind of closer to what I asked for. Maybe it's kind of a funny looking cat, I guess. Um, it reminds me of that like grumpy cat, maybe. Maybe that's what they're going for. There's not as much movement. Well, I guess there's not as much. There's not a ton of movement in this one, um, but there's definitely less movement here. It's closer to what I asked for. It doesn't look as real. To me, this cat looks a lot more real than this one. This has that same kind of almost like vaguely illustrated look about it. Um, it's almost like there's like motion smoothing, like when you don't turn off motion smoothing on a monitor or something and it looks fake but real at the same time. So this is an award-winning cinematic shot of Olympic National Park. And I really love this. You've got a waterfall. It's kind of panning back. You've got moss on the boulders. Like there's sunlight coming through the tree leaves. This looks great. I love this shot. This also looks great. I don't, I prefer the older one, to be honest. The lighting in here is, is much nicer. Like you're getting these like shafts of light um, and it's brighter here and darker here. There's, um, the lighting is better, but it doesn't have the same level of things happening in the frame. Like the, the zoom forward feels a little bit strange. Like you wouldn't necessarily do that as a camera movement, like go directly towards that tree. If, it, if the camera movement were actually coming back like this, I would actually, I like that shot a lot more now if it's just coming backwards like that. Clearly, Gen 2 is just great at nature footage, in my opinion. So the prompt for this is just the thinker statue by Rodan is watching a TV with NTSC color bars on, on the screen. I love the colors in this. I love how weird it is. There's not a lot of motion, but it's just so bizarre. Like it feels like art to me. This has a similar vibe, but it feels smoother. The face is blurrier. Maybe this version looks more like a statue. You even have this pillar in the background. This looks like more like a person. Like there's more texture to the skin here. So this doesn't really look like a statue. This looks more like a person who is posing. This looks more like a statue for sure. Let's look at explosions. I thought that this would be a really interesting thing to do because um, as independent filmmaker, if you wanted to have an explosion, you could have something that looked like a realistic explosion and, and export that. Um, this is one that I did not too long ago. As you can see, the, the prompt was a car explodes in a driveway, cinematic 4K. And there's an explosion and there's a car, but it's not the car exploding. So um, this is kind of cool, but it's not what I prompted for. Like I wanted a car that exploded in a driveway because I want to have, like, let's say I'm making an independent film and I want to have a cutaway to a car exploding in a driveway. Um, this wouldn't really do it. This would be like, okay, I didn't get the thing that I wanted, even though there's a lot of motion in this. There's a lot of cool fire and smoke in that explosion. The car isn't exploding. Um, now let's look at this one. The car is exploding. And this is a massive explosion. And it's what I asked for. The car is actually exploding in a driveway. So in terms of giving me footage that I've prompted it for, we're definitely closer there. So for the last one, I'm going to do three things. Here's the original. So on the left, you have a guy with a beard. And on the right, you have a woman wearing a blouse and they're hugging. And as you can see, as they kiss, they kind of turn into each other. Like all of a sudden he gets taller. It's really a very interesting shot. Like you could not... I would not have imagined this. Like I couldn't imagine how I would actually prompt to get this result. But this is so interesting. I feel like people um, are always commenting on this one as well. What that looks like now is this. So it's still the same prompt. It's very static. And it is what I asked for. <laughs> you know, I think that's the, the... So the one thing that I'm understanding is that in the released version, the footage is much closer to what the prompt actually says. The thing that's interesting about that is it's really good for if you, like if you didn't want strange footage, you wanted a couple smiling with their arms around each other, this is what you are looking for. You could probably use something like this. If you go into Gen 2, you can, let's use the same seed for this, and then you can generate preview. So you can kind of see, um, you know, some of these have umbrellas in the background, some have palm trees. Like this one, it looks like there's just an umbrella floating in the sky. So you'd be like, no, that doesn't look like what I want. I want this that has the palm trees here. 
So let's generate some more previews. I like the fact that you get to really decide like the framing, like where the couple is, you know, where the sun is in relation to them, if there's palm trees. I kind of like this one because I'm curious to know if this is like, this almost looks like a paraglider person. Like, is there something happening in the background? It's doing something. I think the golden hour is really putting this golden glow. There's not a lot of motion in this. This thing that I was hoping would be flying across the screen, maybe, or floating across the screen, just does like that little, whatever that is, it just kind of like slowly disappears. This doesn't look exactly like the couple that I saw in the preview, if I'm being completely honest. But in terms of like what I, what I prompted for, a couple smiling, their arms around each other, like this is closer to what I prompted for. The reason I keep saying that is that this stuff is moving so fast and it's probably really important for these companies if someone goes in and says, I want footage of this to give them footage that looks like that. In order to get like wider adoption of this tool, there really needs to be a closer fidelity between what I prompt for and the result I get. You know, it really is a new type of camera and it's a camera that works off of your imagination and how well you're able to articulate what you want to see. A skill that you want to have in the world of generative AI video is being able to write very clear, precise prompts that will give you the results that you're looking for. So hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully you enjoyed this comparison and I'll probably do another one in a few months when something new comes along. All right. Thanks a lot.